The demand for our services was, was unprecedented starting out in March of 2020 with unemployment, um, food insecurity, and one way I always try to describe it, in 2019, we did 23 million pounds of food. In 2020, we did 63 million pounds of food, so almost three times the level. And what we saw was more families um, who had never come to us before, we called them the newly vulnerable, were now in line for a food box and for other services um, in a way that they weren't before. My name is Gregory Scott, and I am the President and CEO of Community Action Partnership of Orange County. We work with about 300 amazing other nonprofit organizations and churches and food pantries as we distribute food. And they're seeing kind of the same numbers. More and more people who had never come to them for services before were now knocking at their door um, for, for service. I'm Venus. I am not working currently. I stay home and take care of my son. I'm a mother. I mean, the groceries are so expensive. Rent hasn't inflated, utilities have inflated. I have found that I had to come back to the food pantry to help substitute my budget. Not only are we dealing with the impact and effects of a pandemic, unemployment, hunger, food insecurity in our community, now we're dealing with another enemy, and we call that enemy inflation. And so when we look at what we've done this year alone, we've done 13 million pounds of food this year alone. That is equivalent to about a million meals um, that we've done for families. And so on a typical year, we're able to get donated food, we're able to get some of our commodities, and now we're finding ourselves having to write our own check. So 50% of the food that we're now getting, we're actually purchasing. Currently, we're doing about 540,000 pounds of food every single week. That equates to about $500,000 that we need every single month to even meet that demand. My name is Lewis Jonas and I'm the uh, coordinator of the Crossline Food Pantry. Running the food distribution is, is not an easy thing. We rely so much on the food banks, particularly OC Food Bank. They have been wonderful to us. But I do know this, now inflation has put a tremendous dent and impact into the food chain. We not only want to give out food, but we want to give out food that's going to be very nutritious for the families that, that we serve. Um, and we want to give out food, we want to end hunger and end food insecurity and not just be in the business of, of passing out boxes and feeding families in a way that we, we currently do. Um, we understand that our business model is changing, but we also want to be in the business of transforming lives and helping um, the families that we do serve, not just get a food box, but they're able to really change their entire trajectory of their lives. Um, we, want to, we want to really transform the next generation so that the next generation is not dealing with food insecurity, so that the next generation is not dealing with hunger, so that the next generation is not trying to figure out how do I pay the rent and buy food um, all in the same month. The food pantry has been a really big lifesaver financially, saving me from times when I was homeless to times that I was in need. I'm so grateful to have this food pantry. Yeah. yeah, so thank you so much for everything. So I love what has been given through other people, you know, just turning it over and, and just sharing and giving. If there ever was a time that we needed um, our partners in our community to step in, now is that time. Many of our families who are dealing with food insecurity and hunger um, are really struggling just to make ends meet. This is more than just a donation. This is more than just another event. This is about making an investment um, into an organization that's making a difference. So when you think about Community Action Partnership of Orange County, being a trusted organization for over 55 years. Just understand that this is where poverty ends and this is where it ends now for the families that we're serving.